Hey guys, Noah here. For this video, I'll be talking about how you can get 4-3 engravings, uh, something like this, uh, very cheaply. Um, so the reason why you will want to get this build, even though it's temporary, because eventually you want to swap to 5-3s. Uh, you want to get this build because it lasts you from 14-15, which is Vault 10 normal, all the way through 14-60, uh, which is uh, like it's hard. And 4-3 will be sufficient for all the content. Um, and you only need a 6-6 six, six stone, which is really easy to cut right now with a relic stone. And you only need 2 plus 9 books. You don't need legendary ones. I have a legendary, I have a plus 12, but I'll show you how you can do it with a plus 9. So we come over here, I have this uh, website. I can link it down below, it's really helpful. It's kind of like a spreadsheet. So let's say I'll reset it. Let's say you're playing War Dancer, for example, and you want to go first intention. Um, you you, uh, you can't have a class engraving ability stone. So if you have a 6-6, six, six, it'll most likely be on like Grudge or Adrenaline. This is just an example. Uh, you can just change it to your uh, your class. Uh, something to keep in mind is that um, relic accessories that have class engravings right now is really really expensive even when the only the only engraving it has is class so it can have class accessory 5 and then broken bone or something else still be at like 20,000 gold so it's really important that you put one of the books on uh, class engraving um, the second second book you can probably put it on crutch because this is the most expensive most expensive uh, common engraving, and that's what I did. And I think this is a good idea because then you don't have to buy any accessories that has grudge on it. So after you have first intention like that class engraving, um, um, because relics are so expensive, I recommend you buying two legendary rings. That has class accessory class engravings on it uh, because Argos guarantee class engravings right so they're usually really cheap so you have something like this and because grudge is already filled out you want to use the rest of the two uh, nodes on the ring on uh, adrenaline and raid captain something like that um, <clears throat> so now you have three accessories to fill out the rest of these nodes um, it's actually really cheap. There's a few ways you can do it. Uh, the first way would be something like uh, like a 3, 3, 15, and then something like 4, 4, 5. And you can get a 4, doesn't matter. You just want a high quality one. So 3, 4 uh, earrings are actually fairly cheap uh, because um, it's it's actually the same as a 3-3, uh, three, three kind of. Um, if you buy a 3-5 ring, it'll be significantly more expensive, right? So going like this setup, it'll cost you a lot cheaper. Something else you can do is something like a, like an all 3-3, three, three, something like this. You also go something like this, all 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Uh, you just have to buy relic ones for the necklace, earring, and the second earring. This will also be very cheap. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's actually very simple to do. Um, something to keep in mind, again, is that you will want to have high um, qualities on the two legendary rings. So if you're going some setup like this, right, um, you will want to have a high quality ring because they're cheap to get and you try to get a high quality necklace because it has the most stats and is the most effective so the quality on it will be the most impactful so if you're buying something like just a five plus five ring uh plus five necklace it's very easy to find something that's really high quality because you're you only want one uh used engraving the other one can be something like Broken Bones 3, right? And it'll cost, like, what, maximum 500 gold for something that's really good. Yeah, so just wanted to make a quick video on how you can get a 4-3 very cheaply. Um, you can mess around with this spreadsheet. Uh, it'll, 
uh, sometimes you can find a cheaper combination, but these are like the most common ones that that I use and that some of my friends use as well. Yeah, so for 5-3, if people are wondering, right? I think the um, if you want to get 5-3, so 5 level 3 engravings, you need a legendary book. You need a plus 12 book. And a good time to buy legendary books is when the uh, Thorn Spire is out. I think that's what it's called in NA. Uh, because this uh, bridge thing will give you two tradable uh, common engravings. So something like Grudge, you know, and, and you can choose. So most people will choose something like Grudge and sell it on the market. I think it's worth it to sell if you can get it early because the price will drop as people get more tradable grudge bucks and flood the market, right? So that's um that's a good time to buy the class the, the not class engraving. So class engraving price won't change; it might even go up. Uh, but the common engraving will for sure uh, drop when this bridge thing is out, and that's when you can invest your money into a legendary book, and. Um, so if you're playing all DPS characters, my recommendation is try to save up and buy Grudge. I know it's expensive, but it'll last you forever, basically. Um, aside from that, if you have spare money, you can try to buy the second most expensive engraving book after Grudge that is shared by um, as many characters that you have on your roster as possible, uh, something like King Blunt or Crystal. Um, so... That's what I've been saving up my money for. I want to buy the Grudge book and the King Blum book. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll make a video on how you can get 5 threes when I do it myself. I don't want to uh, mislead anyone, right? Because I didn't try it yet. Uh, but that's my plan. Uh, and you need a legendary book. So a uh, so setup would be something like this. Yeah. Um, yeah. But So for now, 4 3 is sufficient and it allows you to see all the content. Uh, that's in the end game right now. Okay, uh, that's it for the video. If you liked it, can you uh, please drop a like and consider subscribing? Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.